I want you talk. Maybe because I won't talk to you. Because I can't. Maybe you can't either. For all I know. If this is a dream, maybe it's a silent one. Still, somehow, knowing someone else is here, knowing you're here, with me, whoever you are, well, it's somehow at least comforting to me not to be alone, even though I am so fucking alone in my own fucking head. Maybe this isn't comforting after all. I wonder if I'm dead or something. Is this what death feels like? Is this what death feels like after everything? <laughs> Immobilizing. Frozen. Dark. All by myself. Well, you're here. Whoever you are. Maybe you're taking me to some kind of ending. So much for a bright light, eh? <laughs> but I'm not really dead, am I? Am I? No. I can't fucking be dead. What kind of sick fucking joke is this? Hello? <sighs> Imagine that. Dead at 25. <laughs> What did I even do with my life up until now? So many regrets. I work at a job I hate. For a boss I loathe and a company I couldn't give a shit about. <laughs> Which would all be worth it, right? If I actually was doing something I loved. But instead... Instead I just picked something I was good at. Every week, five times, getting up at an ungodly hour, just to go slave for some scraps doing something I hate. Oh, fuck, I'm pathetic. All in order to pay off pointless shit. <laughs> and to pay for an apartment I'm never even in, except for weekends and nights. An apartment in a decent part of town at least but surrounded by the constant drone of couples fighting, TVs blaring, kids shouting, the clacking of someone walking above me. <laughs> you'd think you'd eventually get used to it, but you don't. It's maddening living in an apartment, the invasiveness of it, like a vermin. Why does nobody ever talk about this? <laughs> Dependent on everyone around you to just shut the fuck up. To be there but not loudly. <laughs> not lively. Not in a way that disturbs you. Always trying to stifle the realization that others exist around you. They become part of your life. You come to accept. Parts of your life that you hate anticipating. And before they even happen, you're mad about them. Sitting at work at a job you hate, thinking about going home and how much you're going to hate listening to the loud, annoying kid in the next apartment over, over there throwing his basketball against the wall. <laughs> Or how the woman upstairs is going to play Bad Habits by Ed Sheeran for the thousandth fucking time. This weekend alone. Her heels clacking around on the linoleum above. Until she finally decides to take them off. And let her girl boss mode <laughs> rest for a few hours. It's infuriating. And we all live like that. Every single day. I mean, is that even living, really? 
Oh my god, look at me. On my way to my end. <laughs> Some kind of fucking death that I'm lamenting about the unimportant while I'm being wheeled off away to somewhere without even a chance at protest. <laughs> Am I in a coma? Can people in comas hear? I guess it depends on who you ask. Maybe this is just a dream anyway. A horrible one. But I'll wake up eventually, right? Or maybe this is death after all. Mm. If so, it fucking sucks. Can you imagine if this is death? If these are my final thoughts before I'm completely snuffed out, then why is it the only thing I can think of to do is complain? <laughs> this has to be the most pathetic swan song anybody ever could have thought up. Death. A woman alone. All alone in this fucking world. What is it now? Almost 8 billion people and I'm alone. Not even a cat to miss me when I'm gone and buried. Or cremated? Who even cares? Nobody. Maybe I could have said that even if my job was shit. Even if I was alone, at least I made a difference in the world. Right? But did I? I barely made time for anybody outside of my serial killer documentaries and the countless number of murder case series that exist on Netflix. But even that's nothing to be ashamed of necessarily, I guess. I am embarrassed about the facade I put on. The mask. The one I wear out in this world, though. In front of people, in front of friends, in front of everybody, that's nothing to be proud of. 25 years on this earth and not a fucking person even knows who I ever was. Maybe I don't even know. But I know well enough to know that the me who I shared with others, the things I said to them, they were just things I thought people wanted to hear, weren't they? Ah, <sighs> so pathetic. I played the part of someone I thought they wanted me to be. But did they? Did they want me to even be like that? Could they tell I was fake? How come nobody ever told me I was fake? I just needed one person to say that to me. Was I so afraid of looking at my own self that I let myself be convinced that that's what others wanted from me? To not... To not be me. To not exist. Not really. To be someone else. <laughs> Fuck, man. I should have let people see the real me. I should have been vulnerable sometimes. Real. Honest. 25 years and nobody is even gonna notice I'm gone. Because I was never real to begin with. A fictitious character droning along. Alone. Cold. What a sad life indeed. A sad, lonely, meaningless life. I could have changed so much if I had more time. <laughs> what a fucking cliche thing to say. Are you still there, aren't you? <laughs> Look at me, 
talking to you, but it's really just me talking to myself still. Because you can't hear a goddamn thing I've said. Wheeling me off somewhere. <laughs> Maybe this is hell. Being wheeled off to some unknown place for an infinite amount of time. Left all alone with my thoughts. <laughs> that is some kind of fucking torture, isn't it? Knowing someone is there when I can't even talk to them. Surely that's fucking hell. Or close enough. This whole thing is fucking maddening. I just want to move. To see. To open my fucking eyes. To scream. I wonder if I screamed if it would change anything. Even if the screams were just in my head. Maybe my face would flinch or turn red. And you would see I needed you to find me. <laughs> That's assuming you can even see my face. I have no idea where the fuck I even am. All I need is for you to find me. To help me out of this. Whatever this is, to help me out of me. Maybe you can wake me from this nightmare. Would you even want to? Please. I don't want to be alone in my head. Not like this. Not so close to someone. But so removed. Secluded. Isolated, drifting away, please, please reach in for me, please, please help me out of this hell that I'm in, don't leave me alone in here, please, please don't leave me alone in here, so detached, so removed, so abandoned. Please no, please, please no, please don't do this, help me. <laughs>